Throughout history, the Catholic Church has been the most influential religious institution in the West, especially during the medieval and renaissance periods. Of course, many Catholic leaders had different religious methods and conduct, but some stood out from the others by their unusual backgrounds. One case is Baldassare Cosa, the pirate who became Pope. Baldassare was born on an island belonging to the Kingdom of Naples around 1370. During his youth, Baldassare's family experienced many financial problems. Gradually, they lost their noble status. Baldassare and his brothers entered the military career, participating in the Angevin Neapolitan War. It is said that Baldassare and his brothers took advantage of the war mayhem to acquire wealth through piracy, attacking merchant vessels in the Adriatic and Ionian seas. After finishing his participation in the war, Baldassare studied law at the University of Bologna and earned a doctorate in civil and canon law. After obtaining the academic degree, Baldassare established contacts with the religious world, managing legal matters related to the church. He was assigned to work for Pope Boniface IX in 1392, first in Bologna and then in Rome. In 1396, Baldassare became archdeacon in Bologna. Baldassare's rise came during the so-called Great Western Schism, a religious crisis in the Catholic Church between 1378 and 1417. There were two competing popes, one in Avignon in southern France, supported by the French and Spanish monarchy, the other in Rome, supported by most of Italy, Germany, and England. In this religious crisis, Baldassare became the leader of a group of seven cardinals, whose goal was to end the schism. To do this, Baldassare and the cardinals deposed Pope Gregory XII and the anti-pope Benedict XIII. Then, in 1409, they elected a third pope, Alexander V. But Gregory and Benedict simply ignored this decision and the situation became even more complicated. Now there were not just two popes, but three. Antipope Alexander V held office for a short time, dying on May 25, 1410. Using his newly acquired authority, Baldassare was consecrated bishop, taking the name John XXIII. Without wasting any time, the newly named John XXIII was recognized as antipope by France, England, Bohemia, Portugal, parts of the Holy Roman Germanic Empire, and numerous city-states in northern Italy. But the story of John XXIII took new twists and turns. King Ladislaus of Naples, John's main opponent, invaded Rome, and the antipope fled to Florence. In 1414, the Council of Constance began in the Bishopric of Constance, present-day Germany. The council ended the Western Schism. All three popes were to abdicate, and a new pope was to be elected. John XXIII, present at the council, was forced to abdicate his office, but he was afraid of being arrested and judged. Disguising himself as a letter carrier, he fled again, this time by boat on the Rhine River. The members of the council tried John for heresy, simony, sodomy, tyranny, incest, piracy, schism, and immorality, finding him guilty on all charges. John was captured and handed over to Ludwig III, who imprisoned him for several months in Heidelberg, Germany. John XXIII was released in 1418. A large ransom was paid by the House of Medici, a powerful Italian banker family and political dynasty. John went to Florence, where he submitted to the new Pope Martin V, who made John Cardinal Bishop of Frasciati, the diocese of the Catholic Church in Italy, based in Frasciati, near Rome. That was the end of Baldassare Cosa's unpredictable life, elected as the controversial anti-pope John XXIII and one of the most controversial figures in Catholic history.